Welcome back to Split Second. Well, yeah, who, me? I'm welcoming? I feel welcomed. You are welcome. This is Split Second. If you like insanely fast cars I, and I love this. Action, this is amazing. Right <laughs> I know I say this every time I see it, but like, over the next 12 exciting it's just episodes, so crazily the over the top. On the track with the aim of qualifying for the chance to and this is the, the beginning of the game. Elite. This yeah, highly are you the are, are you the split the second elite? Going home. And progression to the next. I round. I will be the split second elite. As the contestants choose, I'm rooting for the hammer man. That's to earn enough credits. That's my boy the over there. Championship race. Bridges the hammer kind of sucks. Buildings reduced to clouds of dust. Yeah, no, no that, it's because he's relatable. Set. He's down to earth, Drivers, man. He doesn't have to win careful. every time. And remember to buckle up. It's about to get explosive yeah, out there. Yeah, I guess that's true. So, yeah, that's the intro. <laughs> <laughs> that's over the top, man. That's excessive. <laughs> yep, so we've got six events in each season. Uh, of varying types. We're going to start with Airport Terminal. So at the beginning of the game, you start with only three cars, but it's not as bad as it sounds because they're all pretty cool cars. Uh, also, one of them is a truck, which is kind of interesting. This is going to, I know this is going to like prove how little I know about cars, but are any of these based on real cars? Like, are they real? They sort of do the GTA thing where they're half one car in front and then half another car in the back. Okay, so I can't actually go out and buy and, like, get the Rigatoni Brawler or whatever it was called. The Ryback Brawler, and no, you can't. Oh. You can, however, buy a, a, a Chevy Camaro, which is basically the same car. Yeah, but it doesn't shoot missiles and knock over, like, airplane carriers or whatever this one does. Well, not with that attitude. Anyway, <laughs> this is... The first, the first track is going to be Airport Terminal. It's a very... It's a very angular track. It's in general pretty fast, but there are a lot of sweepers and a lot of hairpin curves, so it's a pretty dynamic race. This is just a standard race event. Three laps, get to the finish line first. Yeah. I'm using the I'm using the Cobretti 455, which is it's it's the starting car that's sort of the light but fast. As you can see, it allows me to get up in front of the pack pretty early. Is this what we would call a sweeper? That, that would be more of a hairpin, but yeah, basically. So sweepers are long, wide turns. Hairpins are short, sharp turns that you generally take in first or second gear. Oh, okay. Um, when do you get the red shells? We don't have red shells as such in this game. There are red things, but you generally get those, uh, your level two power plays, once you fully filled up that meter at the bottom. Oh, oh, also, you can explode parking garages. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was an apartment building. The first thing I thought of is I really hope people weren't there. <laughs> oh, my God. There. Like... Oh, poor So, yeah, Friedel. that's your first kill of the campaign. <laughs> so he's just, like, dead? That name's never going to come up again? No, I mean, they, they'll spawn back in if, they, if you get wrecked. You'll spawn back in after a couple seconds, but that's basically death in this game anyway, because, you know, it's a racing game. Also, you can collapse that tower, and I don't know how <laughs> oh, I managed no. to avoid wrecking myself there. <laughs> wow. What was in that barrel? It was, like, bright yellow. It looked like one of those nuclear waste barrels from The Simpsons, you know what I mean? No, I know exactly what you mean. I figure it's just, like, depleted phlebotinum or something. Isn't that what they make, use to make flubber? Pretty sure it is. I got that reference. I'm with it. <laughs> I'm, I know all the movies the kids watch, like Flubber. <laughs> hey, parents, we're cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, also, I'm doing this. Oh, my God. There was people in there. That was like, that, that looks like a, oh, my God. Well, that part of the track so, yeah, is closed now down. The, now we're on the, yeah, now we're on the main runway now. It's a pretty cool place. Very flat, very straight. God, I hope no one's flying out of LAX today because the fucking hell, the hell cars are in town. Yeah, if y'all are flying out of LAX today, 
Uh, your flight might be a little delayed. <laughs> oh yeah, also I blew up that tanker. <laughs> I like how the track is getting progressively more and more Mad Max hellscapish. Oh, you haven't seen nothing yet. Just like wrecked, just like burning steel wreckage litters the track. Burning steel everywhere. So yeah, now that we've actually managed to have a couple laps under our belt, I'm not facing as stiff of competition because I've managed to pull a little bit of a lead. This game does have some pretty hardcore rubber banding because, you know, a game like this wouldn't work without it. But in these early goings, in the er, first few episodes, what you'll see in general is that the, the rubber banding will be a little bit less aggressive and the drivers in general will be less aggressive. Why would you throw an airplane at yourself? I didn't do that. That seems counterproductive. I didn't do it. Who threw an airplane at you? I don't know, it just happens. Shit happens, man. <laughs> you know that was an emergency landing too, because he didn't have his landing gear down. Yeah, but unfortunately he didn't win an Oscar for it. <laughs> That's because he didn't do the inverted maneuver. Well, I was going to say he didn't land on the Hudson. Those were two different movies, right? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Because the one with the Hudson didn't star Morgan Freeman. The one with the other one didn't star Morgan Freeman either. No, that was Flight. No, that was, that had Denzel Washington. Flight had oh. Denzel. Oh god, you have to cut this out then. No, I'm <laughs> keeping it in. Oh no. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, no, it was about like it was about like how he was like an alcoholic and he flew the plane upside yeah, that down was and that, yeah, that was flight. That was a good movie though. No, it was a good movie. Anyway, so we're going to go on to Downtown Central, which is another track entirely. We're going to switch things up a little bit. We're not going to use the the Cobretti. I'd like to show off as many cars as I can in the game just so everybody watching can get kind of a feel for how they're different. So we're going to use the Ryback. Uh, can you change their paint jobs? Like, could you do thread voting to see, like, what paint jobs people want on their cars? That's actually a good idea. I might do it, um, but the way that I was probably going to set out the videos was that each video was going to be one episode, so a cluster of six races. What I might do is oh. do a thread poll to, to ask for what color people think might be the best color to represent each car or each manufacturer or something like that. Well, the red ones go faster, so I'm glad they gave you a, a reddish color. Well, reds only go faster in 40k. I think the red ones also go faster in, like, regular Warhammer, don't they? I don't know. Oh yeah, also that guy's a total jerk and spun me out. Yeah, they're, get they're already getting a little more aggressive, huh? Yeah, but I do get <laughs> back at him. <laughs> Warning, garbage truck. Uh, it's um, it's a good thing the garbage truck man is on your side. It's a good day to take out the trash. Oh my god. Did she spend all night thinking that one up? I got to bed around 2, 2.30. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I'm going to be a little bit liberal with my drifting here. With these wide streets, you have a lot more opportunity to drift, so you can build up more and more of your power meter. You don't strictly need it when you're in first. You can't really like drop explosions behind you in order to defend yourself the way you can drop green shells or banana peels in Mario Kart or something. Yeah. But it is nice to have just in case somebody tries to overtake you. I believe it. Oh, With all also so I can do that. <laughs> I didn't actually catch what happened there. I exploded a building. Oh my god! This is a like a this is like a crowded metropolitan area. Like you don't have your well, hell no, races no, no, no. next it's, to the it's it's totally okay. Didn't you see? They built the set. That's what we did in the tutorial. <laughs> oh okay. 
So they built a whole- what a waste of resources. They built an entire city to blow up. That's like- That's hey, like- billions the... of people are watching the show. You heard the guy in the tutorial. Yeah, but like, think about like- this place is like the most Shadowrun place. Like, there's probably like a housing crisis or something. But nope, we're just gonna build an entire city to burn it down. Sorry, homeless people. Well, there are no homeless people in this city because there are no people at all. Then who drives the garbage truck? I don't know. I figure they put it on remote control or something. Oh, also, speaking of which. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love doing that. That's never gonna... And that. Oh, my God. Apartment building, no. <laughs> Apartment building, why have you betrayed me? Right? I like the little sound effects when you move past things where it goes like, it sounds like a phaser going off or something. It's one of those little touches that make this game sound as, oh yeah, I forgot oh. that happens. <laughs> wow, it respawns you fast. It does not... It's not like Mario Kart where you like spin out and bounce and then you gotta wait like a couple minutes and... Oh no, oh. not at all. Also, that was... <laughs> <laughs> Did that guy crash into another guy? What happened there? No, he crashed He crashed into the wall uh, by the shockwave that he got hit by. I was able to dodge under the truck. Nice. Yeah, so one of the downsides to using these sportier cars, you know, they're lighter and faster and they've got better to power, power to weight ratio, which is a pretty important thing when you're talking about straight line speed. But, you know, bigger shock waves are really going to wreck your day. So is that why, like, some people would like to use the truck is because they can just barrel through shit? Oh, exactly. And I do use the truck in a later event in this chapter so you can see just how big of a difference it makes. But yeah, that was downtown central. So would you would you say you kept on trucking? Well, I kept on I kept on Camaroing. I was thinking about uh I keep having a Camaro place call me for uh for like bone donations. Oh uh <laughs> Iridium, isn't that like that fantasy metal? Um, no. And before you say, isn't that a tabletop gaming company? No, that's Palladium. Oh. So yeah, we're actually going to use the Iridium because we just unlocked it. It's a kind of quirky looking little car, but it's fun. It's probably one of my favorite of the starting vehicles. It drifts really, really, really well. It has a little smile. It's happy to see you. It's a it's a pretty smug car. <laughs> it knows what you did last night, but it's a bro, so it won't tell. So it just sits there and smiles creepily at you? Yep. It's like Pennywise the car. Basically, yeah. I like how it's also burnt orange. Well, actually, that's the default color. Oh. It's got a really interesting looking two-tone paint job that I think is pretty sweet. One thing that's kind of interesting about the cars in this game is that every car does have a paint job of some kind. They're not just a solid color. One other thing that I wanted to point out is that as you unlock sort of achievements in the game, not achievements like you get on the 360 uh, or something like that, but you get little what are called decals. Uh, and they're basically there to show how much of a badass you are, and you can get them after each event for things that you do, and they will show up as decals on your car when you race. That is so cool. Yeah, so like those little luchador ones, I actually got that one in the first, the first event for, uh, for getting an achievement called Untouchable, which means I never got wrecked during the race. Oh. So this is, uh... I forget, did we go over this in the uh, tutorial, this game mode? Um, not exactly. This is an elimination event. Oh, oops. Yeah. Sometimes when you're drifting down hills like that, the one of the things about this game is that cars actually do have weight and they are affected by things like gravity. So drifting downhill is actually pretty difficult because you're not only fighting the, the natural inclination of the car, but also the inclination of gravity. 
but this is an elimination event. So after every 30 seconds or so, I'm not sure what it is exactly, you'll see it in a little bit, but uh, at the end of each segment, the last place car will get eliminated, so you just have to make sure that you're not in last until the end of the event. And if you are, then you're the last one standing and you win. No, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's it makes it more of a tactical game because you can start doing things like saving your power plays for the last minute. If you're in a bad situation, you can just drop a building on somebody <laughs> and speed up into their place. Oh, someone just tried to drop a building on you, didn't they? Yeah, you can see what happened to that building when I zoomed uh, back behind me. Yeah. Oh, wow. It was really cool, too, because it, it was, like, bending over first. That's, like... Yeah. So everything in this game is running on Havoc physics. But that was made popular by the Sonic 06 engine, right? Yeah. You know, there's no greater game in existence than Sonic 06. Don't you start. I actually like that game. I know, and you're wrong. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's a it's a decent game. It's a fun game. For those of you out there who don't believe me, go watch the Pokey Cabin and Crew LP of Sonic 06. Okay, but then also like play it because it's it. I mean, it's a little buggy, I think, but it's pretty. <laughs> don't listen to this man. I. Th I don't think oh, the story also, I... is as bad as people say. Okay, anyways, yeah, also. Yeah, so also, uh, you may or may not have noticed watching that I was actually in second, and I managed to drop a barrel on that guy for the first place spot about eight seconds before the end of the round. No, I caught that. Yeah, so pretty intense. Uh, elimination is one of the more tactical events because of that. What stops the computer from doing that to you? Oh, nothing. They can screw you over big time. They often do on the later seasons. Oh. So we're going to do another elimination event, but this time we're going to be in downtown Central. So you're going to see the same track you saw before, but it's going to play a little bit differently. Alrighty. Also, I'm using the truck. Where is, uh, cause like, I'm seeing a, like, I see the Seattle Space Needle, and then I also see the Golden Gate Bridge, and then later on we see, uh, like, the train system, like the overhead train system I see in a lot of games that take place in New York, and then there's palm trees everywhere, and also there's, like, an area that kind of reminds me of LA's, uh, like, Staples Center? So it's it, like, every single downtown across America built into one place? Yeah, this is basically Metropolis, but in the bad ending where Superman kills everybody in Injustice. That's hardcore, man. That's a bit too intense for my for my for my racing games. Injustice is a serious game for serious people. I uh, that's the one where you are like a lightning guy, right? And then you go around and you commit a bunch of crimes or you commit a bunch of good things. That's infamous. Right. Oh, yeah. Hmm, that helicopter is lifting a, a piece of construction equipment. Isn't that interesting? That's really interesting. I wonder what the plan there is. One other thing that's kind of interesting about the truck... Oh, also, I'm going to dodge oh, under that truck again. Yeah. So one thing that's kind of interesting about the truck is because it's it's a very weighty vehicle... Oh yeah, you can blow that up too. So, because the truck is so weighty, it doesn't break loose the way that the uh, the Brawler or the Cabretti do. So, like, when I'm coming into these, I thought I could just power over, but nah. It just decided it didn't want to play ball. It still drifts fine once you actually get there. Yeah, I was noticing that, like, you were turning very well, but it wasn't exactly what I would call a drift. Yeah, no, the trucks actually stick really well. Oh, also, you were mentioning the Space Needle? <laughs> no! It's a national icon! It's one of the Seven Wonders! Well, I mean, it can be a wonder even though it's collapsed. It <laughs> collapsed wonderfully. Oh, man. It kind of reminds me of a spir that Spyro level where you're, like, going over the, like, bone dragging over the lava. Oh, I remember that. Right? 
Kinda, maybe. Yeah, that was that was in the prehistoric level in Spyro 2. Yeah, I like Spyro. I don't know why I keep talking about other games. I'm I'm girl good at this. Are you not entertained? I am. St I'm enthralled, dude. I want to see what's gonna blow up next. Like I'm trying to guess what's gonna happen because like I keep seeing like these tall buildings right next to the track, and I'm like, oh, that's gotta explode. I'm like. I've got to see what happens with that helicopter, because there's no way that helicopter doesn't, like, do something with that. No, it's it's a total red herring. Are you kidding? Yes. Maybe one of these days I'll actually <laughs> use it, but it is, a, it is a level 2 power play. That looks so cool. I like to imagine it throws it like a, like a Pokemon doing a special move where it, like, spins around first and then releases it. Uh, you'll see. Oh yeah, by the way, I just got another uh, Eliminator badge. And I unlocked this thing. Oh, the... Hey! I play that character yeah. in Overwatch. I was about to make a make an, a Hanzo main joke, but you're right. Yeah. yeah, so we're actually going to go on to the next race. This is an airport terminal event too, but this is called Detonator. Uh, Detonator is an interesting race, uh, and it's an interesting event type. You're often given very fast cars that you haven't unlocked yet, which makes it interesting. It's kind of a taste of power thing. Bet you power tastes great with, like, thyme and oregano. Probably, or black pepper. <laughs> or, uh, or lemon thyme. Have you read Lemon Tot? No. It's a... No, I haven't. Yeah, my girlfriend grows it in her garden. It's like a... It's a... Well, it tastes lemony, and it tastes like thyme. Neat. So this is a Hanzo GT. As you can tell, it's a good deal faster than anything we have. Also, it looks really cool. And also, all the power-ups explode in Detonator and try to kill you. <laughs> I probably should have mentioned that. Yeah. <laughs> That, is that black helicopter following you, or what What happened there? It just like... No, I mean, they just have Apaches in reserve for this show. Just like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. I want all the races to be like this, please. <laughs> they get that way. <laughs> Go on, dodge that again. Oh, I didn't notice that there's a, uh, there is a, a TV logo that shows up in the top right corner. It says BRTV. Well, this is a TV show, remember? I know the, the, oh yeah, also that can explode. So yeah, this is a TV show, and, and it's all those little details that really come together to make Split Second awesome as far as presentation goes. I'd donate to this Patreon. Yeah, unfortunately, Blackrock Studio isn't around anymore. <gasps> oh, wait, didn't they make Evolve and Left 4 Dead? They didn't make Left 4 Dead. Valve made Left 4 Dead. No, right, Valve they... bought... Oh, wait, I'm thinking of Turtle Rock. That was the joke. Yeah, it was so Turtle you're thinking Rock. of Turtle Rock. Yeah, sorry. So, yeah, we got two more badges. I'm sure this joke will never get old where you say a thing and I confuse it with a similar thing. Yep, we're going to run this into the ground. I'm sure after 30 minutes that people are 29 minutes of this, it's not gotten old. Let's play Split Second. We peaked harder than my audio. <laughs> so yeah, let's use our new car. Let's be Dirty Hanzo mains. I have a question. Does this car, does this car work for the, the uh, Empire? The Empire? Yeah, because it's a it's a Vader. V eight R. Vader. Oh, you're right. Oh, I'm getting them deep cuts, bruh. So deep. So yeah, this is the elite race. Um, if you thought the regular AI was bad, well, you ain't seen nothing yet, because these guys are all driving in-game cars. Oh my gosh, uh, when are we gonna get that giant jeep? Um, that is the Elite Goliath. You can unlock it, eventually. It's called the Goliath? 
it is called the Goliath. It's actually sort of based on another car called the Bullwind Nemesis, which is actually a real car. So this movie could just like predicted a bunch of movie titles for the next 10 years, huh? Yeah, it kind of did. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the, the Elite AI is definitely more proactive with the, the power plays and they will make every opportunity to wreck you out. As you can see, they kind of got right down to business and started blowing up the construction building, like on yeah. the first lap. So, remember how you were mentioning the hammer? Yeah. He's kind of a jerk. Yeah, no, but see, this is why I'm rooting for him. He's not very fast, though. I mean, he's beating you. Oh, no. <laughs> he actually set that off. Wait, so he tried to blow himself up? No, somebody behind him, actually. Oh. The rest of the crew isn't that far behind. Unfortunately, with the elite races, you, you get basically no breathing room. And speaking of which, that's Raptor. He's oh. very fast. I loved him in Jurassic Park. Yeah, me too. And as a Ford model. Oh yeah, he kind of blew himself up. <laughs> I was just watching that. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, we're kind of coming up on the construction site again. I'm sitting on two, but I'm kind of waiting for this. <gasps> oh my gosh, no, that's not okay. You don't do that to people. Those poor- You do in this game. <laughs> Those poor people. I'm concerned for the well-being of these virtual men. And women. And you should be. You said it yourself, this is War Crimes a video game. Yeah, it really is though, like... Think about how much territory this is that they used for this set, like... How fast are you going? Like 120 miles per hour, you think? I'm not sure. I'm probably going much faster than that. Would you say you're cruising around at the speed of sound? Got places to go, man. Gotta follow my rainbow. <laughs> so yeah, we're coming up on the last lap. It looks like I've actually built up a little bit of a lead, which is nice against the elites. You don't usually get that. Yeah, they're way behind. Oh, cool, it tells you how far ahead you are. Yeah, that's another really nice thing that this game does. Even if you're not looking behind you, it will still give you feedback on your progress. Oh, also this happens. <laughs> this is why the hammer's my bruh. The hammer was not happy with my treachery. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be either. So now we're in fourth, and we've only got about half a lap to go, so we've got to make up some ground here. <laughs> I'm, I just am watching everything explode. It's so, uh, it's just satisfying. Oh yeah, explosions are very satisfying in this game. Like, watching you crumble like one of those little walkways on someone is just great. Oh yeah, no, I love the little walkways. Nobody expects the walkways. So yeah, it's down to me and the hammer. And I do manage to overtake him here. Oh wow, you didn't even have to cheat or anything. Or not cheat, but... I'm not cheating. I mean, you all are, so I guess it's okay. It's like the wacky races of, of the Michael Bay world. Well, yeah, if this is wacky racing, then probably Raptor is the Dick Dastardly. Wasn't he the good guy? No, Dick Dastardly was the bad guy. I mean, it was I, in his name. I mean, I thought it was a misnomer. <laughs> Don't know so yeah, anyway. Yeah, go on. <laughs> so yeah, at the uh, at the end of every event, you can get up to fifty points. Each of those points uh, is tied to a, a certain value. Once you have enough points, you unlock the next car, like so. This is the Ryback Mohawk, and it's pretty cool. It's basically a souped-up Mustang.
so yeah that was the that was the end of the first season how did you think uh did they get renewed well yes we can actually choose which of the episodes we want to take next Ooh. let's do splashdown next time on split second get ready to look to the skies That's amazing. <laughs> oh. I love the little end of episode teasers. Yeah.